What are the best crews in GTI Online? What qualifies them to be considered a top 10 crew? Well, in this video, we're going to find out as I give you my personal top 10 best crews of all time in GTA Online and give you reasons for why I think they deserve to be on the list. I should also clarify that this is overall PvP crews, so we're not focusing on the best crews in a specific area of the game. Now, how do we decide who is the best? I'll be following these guidelines to help me determine what the best crews are, as some crews fit certain descriptions better than others. How good are the players in these crews? What have they achieved? What accomplishments and things have they done in the game to give them such high praise? What have they done for the community or their community in GTA Online? And what effect have they left on the game? And the last guideline would be, what kind of legacy did they leave behind? Were they loved? Were they hated? Did they have a large name or did they just fall off and everyone forgot about them? Now, I should also remind you that some of the crews in this list are still active. Not all of them are dead in the water. This is the guidelines that we will be following as some of these crews are old and no longer play. I procrastinated a lot in this video and it may have effect on some of my decisions, but this is the list that I came up with. Now, first on the list, we have a crew called the New World Order, aka TNWO. And I'm sure that a lot of you guys recognize this crew for being Putter's crew. Why talk about free aim crews when you can talk about the free aim crew? Now, Putter is not a sweaty, dirty, nasty, filthy tryhard. Um, he's mostly just a troll and makes, you know, entertaining, comedic style videos. However, what if I told you that TNWO used to be a real competitive crew on GTA Online. In fact, they're, as of now, the only crew I know that officially won a tournament hosted by Rockstar Games themselves. Yes, Putter used to participate in real tournaments against real players that actually took the game serious before he started shooting 12-year-olds off of an oppressor with an up and atomizer. And Putter also being the first ever PvP dedicated player on gta to reach 1 million subs i think gives tnwo a little bit of leeway in the competitive side of the game this guy went from being a competitive player to being one of the largest content creators in gta online if you disagree with them being on the list you're being biased they deserve to be here even though they have not played comp on this game in over five years now the reason why these guys are at number 10 is because being realistic the only one that players mostly remember from tnwo is putter himself most of the members pretty much all fell off um i'm sure there are some that are still around but the crew's entire legacy pretty much got carried by putter himself and most players nowadays just join his other crews that are free and open to be joined because i'm pretty sure tnwo is inactive and dead i might be incorrect they might still be around i'm really not sure and i also have them at number 10 because being realistic yes they are a free aim crew which means that they really wouldn't be able to compete with any of the crews on this list if they came to auto aim and even if you removed auto aim and put these other crews in free aim these auto aim crews would still beat the new world order in free aim because a lot of these crews can really snipe or know cheap tricks that tnwo members just don't know because they are a clean free aim crew that is what they are that is what they've always been so number 10 definitely goes to the new world order i think it is well deserved on to the next so next on the list we have spec unite corp e aka suce -E. now putting these guys on the list might be a little controversial as pc does not have any competitive at all pretty much but i still decided to include them as there were some crews that these guys went against back in the day such as cade navy and etc now this crew pretty much gave birth to the pc sniping free mode players that you see on youtube now such as met pro you versus pro king fancy stainy 92 and more this crew claims to be the best crew on pc which no one can really argue that because almost no one plays pc on gta when it comes to competitive play so they pretty much have it sealed off completely just for them there was plenty of gta crews on pc but really when i say plenty i'm only talking about maybe four in total the ones that i can list off the top of my head being cade suce navy and ufc but suce did end up coming out on top with the largest snipers and content creators that pc ever had for gta online as well as pretty much competitive for pc as well now 
the reason why I have these guys ranked at number nine, even though most would consider them the best snipers on GTA, is because they only snipe in free mode. And they'll usually snipe jets or oppressors, which don't get me wrong. It's impressive. It is impressive. But there's not really a lot going on in terms of GTA Online for PC besides modding and role play. If you wanted to play GTA to compete against other crews and other good players, you'd be on console with pretty much every other crew on this list. But I felt it would be wrong to not include them as they are one of the most legendary crews of GTA Online and pretty much dominate the whole PC spectrum. So yeah, number nine, this is not a bad crew by any means. They gave birth to the whole free mode sniping of PC and jet sniping and oppressor sniping. But I don't think they deserve to be any higher and this is their placement. Now on number eight, we have a crew called X Suicide Dolls, AKA Doll. Now, this one is going to be really controversial because I already hear people screaming out, where is Sayex? Where is Cade? Where is 666X? Where is Fear? Why is Doll on the list? Now, similar to sports in the real world, women and men, when it comes to competitive GTA, for some reason, sometimes tend to compete in different brackets. Now, this isn't always true, but let's say, for example, that a tournament is held, usually that tournament will be all males. And then sometimes content creators like Recoil, for example, host female only tournaments. So I felt like I needed to include a female crew in the list. Now, I do think that Doll would beat TNWO and I do think that they would be SUCE as Doll is the best female GTA crew ever these girls play every area in the game competitively and they do it very well they play run and gun base beach free mode city dog fighting anything you name it they do it they do tryouts they have participated in tournaments they have won tournaments any females that you've seen that have participated in the tournament whether recoil hosted it or i scoped you hosted it or whoever hosted it most likely the girl participating in that tournament that won was either in doll or against doll at one point in their life now there are two other female crews that i can think of being w girl and noxy noxy is basically 1-0 girls and god mode playing girls they stay under the map they use god mode they cheat they're not real competitive players and w girl although they are a very fine run and gun crew that's all they do they're running gun they don't do anything else outside of it meaning i do think that doll definitely overtakes both of them as the overall best female gta online crew to date and if anyone wants to argue with me about this you are more than welcome to in the comments section i understand why you would maybe want another crew in their place but i do feel like being the number one female crew and a male dominated game says something and they deserve to be here so number eight congratulations doll now after the release of mark ii weapons dogfighting crews got a huge hit as most people started abusing explosive rounds but this crew it didn't affect at all on number seven we have sky x elite pilots by far the best dogfighting crew to ever exist on this game this crew right here gave birth to absolute legendary pilots such as Plaxorus and Varexius and anyone who has ever dogfighted on this game. If you do not know these two players, you have no business speaking on what the best dogfight crew is on this game. Plaxorus was single-handedly the greatest dogfighter to ever exist on GTA Online. Anyone who has dogfought at some point in this game knows him and has probably lost to him. And Varexius was basically his second coming. Varexius came to the game a little bit later than Plaxorus, learned from him, and then proceeded to dominate the entire community himself. Now, there are other dogfighting crews that did compete against Skyx, but none of them came close to the dynamic duo that was Varexius and Plaxorus. And that's not even to mention all the other members that Skyx had. By far the most dominant dogfighting crew in GTA Online, period, to date. I'm pretty sure this crew is inactive now. I'm pretty sure most of them are older and have moved on. And Plaxorus used to be a large content creator before his channel got deleted. But you could still find older dogfighting clips of these guys way back from 2014, 2015. Look up Plaxorus, look up Varexius. You will find clips of them doing some insane things in 1v1s and dogfighting. Number seven, easily, easily holds to Skyx Elite Pilots. 
The only real complaint that I would give them is that they weren't known enough. But once again, Plaxorus's YouTube channel did get deleted. So you can't blame them too much for not being as well known as they should have been. I want to start off by saying that I do not like this crew. I'm just going to make this very clear. I don't like this crew. I don't agree with anything that this crew did. But we have Ansai Kaseki, a.k.a. Red X. Now, when I was making this list, I really didn't want to put these guys on the list. But I wouldn't let my bias get in front of the truth. And the truth being that they had one of the deadliest CBC lineups in this game in terms of all weapons at base specifically and i don't think anyone can argue that but i'm trying to keep this as positive as possible throughout this video but I, man this crew really ruined gta entirely many of you may know sinkable many of you may know curs centipede nakata moha vandals yuho dennis the list goes on of all the players that they've had now the problem with this crew is they're really the number one crew that ruined gta online back in early 2016 to 2017 players were you know fighting out in the open in free mode and they were having a good time while doing it yes they were uploading rips on each other and they were exposing each other but not to the degree that red x took it to the crew members of red x took gta online as more of a real life job than an actual video game they started to bring in the 1-0 era the i'm up global era the orbital cannons the god mode the under the map kills taking free kills from people and tanks uploading afk kills on players not moving and exposing people's faces to the communities on live streams or using them as thumbnails just overall toxic just completely ripped the fun out of gta online and to this day gta online still has these issues because of what this crew did now yes Kurs and Sinkable are by far the most legendary base duo in this game of all time. When these two were both in Red X is when the crew was at its prime. Their leader, Den, has been pretty much inactive ever since the crew was invented. But the members carried it along the way. But these guys just... Man, I couldn't put them any higher. Honestly, I could have put them at number 10. I was actually considering putting them in my worst gta online cruise video that i'm releasing soon as the way that they played was not competitive at all they wouldn't even play you if you didn't give them free kills if you did play them they would usually use bst or god mode or be under the map or do something extremely just weird and unnecessary they took the game way too serious and sucked the fun out of it and every single thing that they did left a legacy behind sure did they definitely ping all my guidelines I mentioned in the beginning of the video, but their legacy single-handedly ruined GTA Online and made it into the sloppy, disgusting, try-hard mess that it is now, where players are afraid to die, and they care so much about getting killed that you don't see large crews going against large crews anymore because it's simply impossible to find that many players that don't care about the game to an extreme extent because of this crew number six is where they stay i'm not gonna say that they were a good crew if it wasn't for sinkable and curs this crew would have been nothing sinkable and curs carried this crew and curs was only in this crew for about two months before he ended up getting kicked out or leaving i'm not really sure what happened but i know that this crew had to be on the list i know that these newer players of gta online expected them to be on the list so i have to put them here even if i sorely disagree with your opinion i should also point out that these guys were known for scamming their subscribers stealing money from their subscribers ddosing and doxing people and booting them offline doing anything in their power to make people miserable outside of the video game and stealing people's modded accounts that they paid a lot of money for now this one if you're an illex supporter it's gonna come hard at you but i gotta include only the greatest aka otgx i want to clarify this right now i don't like their leader i think the real dark lord is one of the cringiest corniest players i have ever met in all my time on this video game however the crew that he built was built to last he might not play people and he might be terrified of everybody and he's also probably the most toxic person i've ever met in the running gun community but the crew that he made you had some very top tier players joining this crew um from vice city to death come 
to etc cetera, etc cetera. I mean, I'm, I'm not gonna sit here i'm not gonna name every single player that they have but when you talk top gta crews you can't not include them i can't let my bias get over me i think their crew leader is a clown and i think he sucks at the game but i think that all the crew members and the people that are actually in this crew and made this crew what it is the only real problem that i have with this crew is that they're all foreign they're all usually from random totally far away countries that you've never heard of so they lag very 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 bad which means that most american players probably wouldn't want to go against them as you can't tell if they're lag switching or if it's their legitimate wi-fi still not going to take that away from them they built an empire the only other run and gun crew that competed with them in terms of fan base community and overall recognizability is rngk and i'm sorry but otgx is a far superior crew to rngk rngk does not do 1v1s they do not do cvcs they do not participate in tournaments and they have not been a competitive crew ever since the game came out their crew leader also doesn't play the game just like dark lord and their members are not up to par compared to the otgx members most rngk players are usually content creators or streamers or they just upload montages but in terms of tournaments and competitive play i think otgx is the superior crew to rngk if the crew leader of this crew was not terrified and scared to 1v1 players and get his name out there a bit more this crew could have easily been maybe in the top three but the crew leader drags the crew down i think it would be better if all the members just left and made their own thing because the members are far better than him as all he does is talk about how good players were in 2013 instead of how good players are now next on the list above otgx we have lgsc now i should also clarify that i'm talking about all crews in this video in their prime now the problem with lgsc and ranking them is that this crew has been around for over i think 15 years 12 years i don't remember exact they've been around longer than the pyramids have been on this earth i can't really speak too much on them in their prime as this crew is literally ancient like the leader probably has cobwebs on him this is a very very old run and gun crew that used to do tons of tournaments they've been doing cvcs ever since red dead redemption one release now otgx was also around back in red dead redemption one but i'm pretty sure otgx the original crew got deleted and then they made it again and it got hacked so lgsc has been around and they have survived all of the nonsense from red dead 1 to gta 4 to gta 5 and they're gonna move on to gta 6. i can't say a lot about this crew because it's simply just too old for me to mention all of its crew members and all of its achievements they've been in too many tournaments they have won too many cvcs there's just too much that they have done for me to sum up in only a two minute long explanation I do think that LGSC has one big problem. However, I don't think that they made it enough in the content creator and YouTube space as almost nobody knows about this crew's existence. Even though they've been going for over 10 years, not having a fan base and not having a community makes it pretty difficult to rank these guys on this list. So I could see you replacing OTGX with them or vice versa as i think that otgx did have the better fan base the better community and the better overall run however lgsc used to beat otgx back in the day so they had the superior players but i do think otgx overall did more as a whole in the running of community i should also point out as well that i was thinking about replacing this crew with nmcw but the problem is that nmcw i felt like didn't have very top tier players but i think that nmcw killed it in the community space so i could see this one being swappable i do think lgsc deserves to be in this list and i think they deserve to be here but out of all the crews i put on this list this is the one that i'm the most unsure about however i do think they are superior to otgx when it comes to competitive play so i left them here Here's another one that might take you by surprise as it's no big secret that me and Recoil did not like each other for a long time. However, no one can deny that in terms of content creation, Heavy X, and yes, I am saying this as the leader of Ilex, Heavy X may be the most successful content creator crew of all time. Now, 
Let me explain why. Heavy X by far ran the beach when they were a crew. Now, of course, this crew has been gone for a very long time. So I'm speaking past tense. Name me a crew that has had more members split from it and go off to success than this crew right here. Recoil, I scoped you, Motmus, Finesse, Nabil, Wabbit, JCY, Hazard, and more. There's too many for me to sit here and list. There's, there's too many. It's too many. And the crew has been recreated too many times. At this point, I don't know if they're called sniper execution, heavy execution, heavy sniper execution. I don't know. But prime heavy X, pretty much when they split up, they all split up and got big by their own. I mean, Motmus is one of the biggest snipers on the game of all time. Recoil is one of the biggest streamers. I scoped you proceeded to make his own crew, which also ended up blowing up. And then you just have all their other smaller members like Finesse, Nabil, Hazard, and etc., who also ended up having somewhat success on this game. In terms of content creation, I think this crew absolutely killed it. Um, they did participate in tournaments. They did participate in CVZs. They didn't care too much about the game, like Red X being extremely cringy. I think overall, this is probably the most legendary beach crew of all time, at least as of right now. Too many known players have come out of this crew to not include it in my top 10 list, as much as me and Recoil did not like each other. I would still like to see Heavy X go against LX. I would love to see that. That is still on the table, even though Recoil doesn't care about comp anymore, nor does he care about reviving that crew anymore. The only bad thing that I would probably say about this crew is that apparently they got completely destroyed by Motmus when he left the crew. Now, you know, GTA is always a he said, she said game. So Recoil says that they're, they've beaten Motmus more than he's beaten them. And Motmus says he's beaten them more than they've beaten him. So I really can't go back and forth. But at the end of the day, Motmus, you are a heavy X member. So you contributed to this crew's success. Legacy Reborn, a.k.a. Tag Legacy. They had a 13-year-old boy go on to win the largest beach tournament that has ever been hosted in GTA Online. A 13-year-old boy. He also went on to absolutely demolish people in this tournament. It wasn't like a slight, oh, uh, yeah, he won by one or two kills. No, no. He was putting your favorite YouTubers, content creators, and live streamers on t-shirts in this tournament. He absolutely destroyed Motmus in this tournament. He destroyed Painless in this tournament. Any top sniper you can think of, he completely ran through during this tournament. And that's just one of their members. The rest of their members have some of the nicest montages I think I've ever seen in my life. Some of the cleanest snipes I've ever seen in my life. They have won CBCs. They have won tournaments. They've won against crews like Elite and XCal. But I do think that Legacy deserves to be in the number two spot. Their snipers were just another level of aimbot. And what makes it more impressive is that the peak of this crew was on PlayStation 4 at 30 FPS using a controller versus SUCE playing on PC with over 100 frames on keyboard and mouse. And most likely, let's be honest, some of the people on PC were probably cheating. There was no way for these legacy members to cheat. Every kill, every snipe that they ever got was real. It was legit. And it was on half the frame rate that the SUCE members had with a controller and no aim assist. These kids were no scoping jets and oppressors out of the air, winning tournaments left and right when it came to sniping and had some of the godliest montages of all time. Their snipes are unbelievably fast to the point where you have to rewind the video to see what happened in the first place easily number two spot i understand that they may not have been the biggest when it came to content creation and community but you can't deny their competitive achievements it's too many to go on and barely anybody knows about this crew i'd say this is one of the least talked about crews on the game which is crazy when they won the largest tournament hosted so far and completely dominated powerpuff girls entire stream running through all the top snipers in a row back to back now a lot of them quit and moved on I believe some of them went to PC where they are still hitting these snipers shots, even on PC. And the reason why I would put them over SUC is because where SUCE only had a couple crews to go against, Legacy would play anybody. They had tons of crews to go against. 
And the fact that they were running on half the hardware that SUCE was and achieving far more in the competition, it says a lot. They deserve the spot. Let's be real. And number one, we have Ill Execution, aka Illex. Now, don't click off the video. Don't click off the video. Hear me out. Now, those of you who have been Illex supporters from the very start, you guys should understand why this crew is where it is in the list. Now, a lot of you guys are going to claim that I'm biased. Now, hear me out. This list is the number one GTA cruise. Okay. Name me a crew that is overall better than LX on this game. Sure. LX could potentially lose to any of these crews in their designated areas, but take any of these crews everywhere else in terms of comp and put them against Illex. And who are you guys going to bet your money on? We have top run and gun players, top beach players, top city players, top base players. Do you remember Varexius from SkyX Elite Pilots? Do you guys remember Plaxorus? Well, what if I told you that Varexius is currently our dogfighter right now? We have the best city player in the entire game, Relucity. I'm sure a lot of you guys may have seen him before. He is a very, very good city player. Overall, LX has been a dominant crew from the very beginning since it's come out. We have participated in tournaments. We have. Now, we didn't participate in Powerpuff Girls tournament. We never did that because we're not snipers. If we play beach, it's usually all weapons. But every other tournament we have participated in, and we always come number one or number two. There's never other number for us. Every CVC that we've ever participated in, we have dominated, and we play crews in their areas. Name me another crew that goes against crews in areas that they don't play mainly. You have never seen Heavy X go against Red X at base. You have never seen OTGX go against Legacy at beach. You've seen LX play beach against top beach crews. You have seen LX play run and gun against top run and gun crews. It is an undeniable fact that LX is the best overall GTA crew in the game. Now, the other two crews that you could potentially replace us with is Shot and DevX. DevX don't do CVCs. They have never participated in a tournament, and Arson cares far too much about the game to ever do any of that. And yes, DevX has built a large community, but much of his community is from glitches, tutorial videos, and just overall cringe between him and his girlfriend. They're not known for being a top dog competitive crew. And yes, Shot did play all areas. However, when they did CVCs, they only played base. They wouldn't play any other area. Shot refused to do CVCs and run and gun, beach, city, or any other area in the entire game. So yes, they had run and gun players. They had beach players. But all of those dudes might as well just sat on the bench and did nothing because Shot didn't play any other area besides base. And when they did play base, they would only do 15v15. They wouldn't do 2v2 or 3v3 or etc. Between the three crews, who wins? Be honest. I understand that a lot of people don't like me in this community, and that's fine. And you don't have to like my crew either. It is undeniable evidence to say that Illex is not the best crew in the game overall. It's not It's not a problem. I've given every single one of these crews on this list their props. I've given all of them their props. I've given them all high praise, besides maybe Red X. But I still put them on the list because I feel like their duo deserved it. But you have never seen a crew like Illex go on to compete against other crews in their areas that they don't play it just doesn't happen we've got top players in every area and we have cvc'd every single crew that has ever tried to play us can you say the same about any other crew on this game i don't think so but like i said we've done tournaments we've done cvc's we've made our mark and in terms of community i would say in terms of community we've probably done the most besides maybe tnwo aka putters crew we've probably done the most we had the largest crew channel to ever exist in gta online the second one being red x power and the third being nmcw family lx family was the number one subscribed to crew channel in gta online until i changed it to vex we have the most viewed crew -tage in gta online of all time being number one GTA crew. We have also put some people on the map that you guys would have never known about if it wasn't for us, such as Tavion, Relucity, Jihad, Rockets, and etc. And on top of that, we made a second crew named Rise, 
where we were hosting huge 30 player lobbies of all you, clean players having fun like going against each other and every time that we do a live stream we make sure that everyone in the chat is included or having fun we have done everything in our power to build a community for the game without being overly toxic. We do have our toxic moments. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to pretend that Illex is a Saint crew because it's far from it. Definitely not. But the things that we have done outweighs our wrongs. We have also been going strong for many, many years. And unlike a lot of these crews in this video, we're still going. We're still active. We're still in tournaments. We're still in CVCs. We're still doing live streams. We're still posting content for all of you guys. And we plan on moving to GTA 6 when it comes out. And it's going to be the same process that it is now. Nothing about LX has changed or died. I know there's plenty of people that like to say, oh, LX is a dead crew. No, it's not. We have been active ever since we were created. And we're still active now. And we still take care of things now. And we'll continue to do so. Most of these crews have abandoned GTA and moved on to other bigger and better things. But we're staying around and we've been staying around from the beginning, which is why I would consider us the best overall crew in the game. But of course, everyone is entitled to their own opinion and you don't have to agree with me. That's just the way that I view GTA online. I don't believe that you are the best overall crew when you only play one area or only stick to one weapon. Now that we're on to honorable mentions, I'm going to say that NMCW family, I was considering putting on the list, but I decided to keep the list how it was. Now, NMCW family, I could absolutely see you swapping out mostly almost any crew on this list for them. I think all the montages that they did were amazing. I think their editing work was amazing. I loved all the CVCs that they did, their whole aesthetic. They were the first crew to really start doing the whole hardcore edits on every fight thing. No other crew has done that to this day. However, the reason why I did not include NMCW Family is because their players were not up to par compared to the players and the crews on this list. I do think NMCW Family would probably beat crews like SUCE, or crews like TNWO, but that's really speculation. I can't say that NMCW would really beat any crew on this list for a certain, but I do think that they had entertaining content, entertaining montages, and they did a great job holding up the community when they were around. Next up on the list, we have RNGK. Now, the thing with RNGK is that, I gotta be honest with you, Fon Shui carries RNGK on his back. Let's let's be honest, guys. Let's all be honest here. If Fon Shui were to leave RNGK today, no one would talk about that crew anymore. They they would be long forgotten. Now, yes, we are all aware of what RNGK did 10 years ago. But the thing with RNGK is that they're not a competitive crew. They don't do CVCs. They don't do 1v1s. If they do, they don't have their crew tag on. They don't participate in tournaments. Their leader has been inactive literally since PlayStation 3. And just overall, I don't think that they're a good competitive crew. I think OTGX beat RNGK in pretty much every aspect of the game. Besides content creation, they've got that. RNGK was definitely more successful in the YouTube and social media spectrum than OTGX was. But I think as a competitive crew, I think they fell short of OTGX and definitely got the short end of the stick. And I just can't really take them serious as a competitive crew. I see them more as a content creator run and gun crew. Now, I should have started off by saying that I would actually include this crew in a dishonorable mentions list, but I know there's going to be some idiot in the comment section asking where their favorite crew is. So here we go. DevX is not a top 10 crew. They are nowhere near close to being a top 10 crew. They have never won a tournament ever. All they've ever done in tournaments is lose. They have never went against a top crew ever in the game. Every crew that they have ever went against, which it's very rare that they even play other crews, but every crew that they have went against has been complete random crews that nobody cares about, that nobody has ever heard of. And usually it's off live stream. So most likely those videos are fake knowing how DevX is and what their track record has been with fake uploading other crews. Now, yes, DevX has had an amazing run in the YouTube space, but this is not the top 10 clouded crews of all time. This is the top 10 best crews of all time and having zero tournament wins and never playing anybody. And especially when you claim to be a versatile crew and you literally stick to one area and one area only when you do CBCs, you're a joke when it comes to being a top 10. No way. I feel bad for even having to mention this as an honorable 
honorable mention because it's not. But I know there was going to be someone that asked where they were. So there you go. Next on the list, we have WRNG. Now, I know a lot of people that were probably going to want this crew on the list. But honestly, I always see WRNG is just another version of OTGX. Now, I understand that WRNG is ran by Deathcom and it's his crew and OTGX has no say in it. But let's be honest, Deathcom is an OTGX member first and a WRNG member second. And I honestly just see WRNG as a throwaway OTGX crew. So I didn't include them on the list. Not to mention that even if I did, I don't really think their impact on YouTube or TikTok or any social media platform was large enough to gather a community to vote for them into this list. Next in honorable mentions, we have Cure. Now Cure was basically the brotherhood crew of TNWO. That, that that's that's pretty much it i, I mean I, like you don't hear about them anymore you don't see them in tournaments i don't even know who the leader is at this point everyone would probably just vote in cure because they used to be around tnwo and they participated in the tournaments that tnwo participated in but i don't think they deserve to be here I, no one really knows anything about them outside of the fact they were in two videos next up we have 666x now i could actually see an argument for including 666x in the video as they had some very solid players such as low-key reckless however their real crew leader seal maniac has been in prison for the past i don't even know how many years he's been locked up so the crew's management has always been a little wonky low-key reckless took leadership once the seal maniac got in prison and he did a very good job keeping the crew afloat with a crew that he did not have full control over but i do think that red x came over them especially i mean with sinkable and curs and players like nakata i don't think that 666x really had a chance now yes i could agree that they would deserve to be on the list over red x because they weren't 1-0 players they were legitimate clean base players and i respect that i think 666x gets way more respect than red x ever should for the way that they played but i don't really think it was a big enough crew to make top 10 but it did garner an honorable mention say x now i know that a lot of people love this crew and i can see why they were also very solid bass players they're very similar to 666x however they ended up falling short as they don't really do content creation like that so a lot of people really don't know any of their members outside of maybe rowdy rowdy was probably the only member that most players could mention so I don't think they deserve to be in top 10, but I do think that they were a very solid crew and they had a lot under their belt to prove it. I got to be honest, I don't agree with this one, but I know there's going to be someone in the comments section typing it. It's x -use or Zeus, Zus, I don't know. Well, however you say their crew tag. Now, I know everyone says that this crew is the best base crew in GTA Online, and I don't agree with it. I don't agree with it at all. I think first off, they hopped on base late they hopped on base when everyone quit the game you cannot wait for a game to die out or an area of the game to die out to then hop in and call yourself the best you cannot do that that is like saying that you're the best fortnite player and you wait for booga to quit or you wait for clicks to quit you cannot come into base after all the greatest base players quit the game and then claim that you're the best base crew it just doesn't work that way and not only that too, but they follow really silly rules that other base crews just don't follow, such as not being allowed to use the shotgun more than five times. That is such a silly, goofy, hilarious rule that n realistically no other crew is going to follow when they go against you. Yes, they might be the most popular or considered the best crew in 2023, but they are by no means a top 10 overall crew at all they follow far too many rules they showed up very late and they only have pretty much one or two known players at the most i would not consider them a top 10 crew but i will mention them because i know someone will now as for the last honorable mention because i know that someone's going to ask we have rfkz aka real family killers but as most of you guys probably know rng legends now i should start off by saying that these guys made some absolutely legendary run and gun content in terms of the youtube space and i think most run and gun players probably started playing run and gun when they got inspired or just saw a run and gun legends video now why are they not in the top 10 well because first off rng legends is not actually the leader of rfkz the leader of rfkz was caleb Redmist, which a lot of you guys probably don't even know because caleb only speaks spanish he doesn't speak english his entire channel was all spanish and Caleb Redmus always just kind of fell on the background of the run and gun community and never really shined by himself. RNG Legends pretty much carried that crew. 
And for those of you guys that don't know, RNG Legends, his name is actually Fast Switch Kill. It's not RNG Legends. Now, Fast Switch Kill decided to leave RFKZ and try to pursue a solo YouTube channel where he would flex Jordans and Nikes and cars with his brother as they would drive around the city in a Hellcat. It was pretty cringe. And when he realized that nobody liked that content, he started to do fake death videos where he would clickbait his fan base into thinking that he died. And then after realizing that it wasn't working out for him, he decided to try to come back. But by that time, everyone thought that he was a clown. And the fact that he wasn't in RFKZ anymore, his videos just didn't hit the same as they used to. Now, the reason why this crew is not in the top 10 is because I never heard of them winning any tournaments ever i never heard of them really participating in cvcs either and with having a leader that almost nobody knows and then the main guy that has your channel on his back decides to just go off and be a weirdo for youtube views i just don't think that this crew deserves to be top 10 yes i think they had some of the coolest run and gun videos ever and i think that in terms of the youtube community space and inspiring people to play run and gun i think they actually did it the best out of all the run and gun crews as most run and gun players can recognize them literally just off of fast switch kills outfit alone but once again i do not think they deserve it to be top 10 i do think that they did a lot for the run and gun community but i don't think that they were a top crew when it came to actually playing i just think they had really nice montages that caught the attention of people and made them start playing as well and that is my top 10 best crews of all time, including honorable mentions. What do you guys think? Do you guys agree or would you swap out some crews for others? Now, I must also clarify one last time that I don't think that these are the sweatiest crews on the game. I just think that overall, these are the best crews that GTA has had to offer so far as best can be very subjective. And it really depends on what area you're talking about specifically. So I do think these are, once again, the best overall crews in the game and they're usually pretty dominant in their area. That has completely changed the way that players see and play GTA today. If you guys would change anything down below in the comment section, let me know, but that's my opinion.